Lesson 1.9 Protection Verification How to verify the protection against short circuit overload and indirect touch. After a calculation, it's possible to check the protection of lines using Curves module. Click on the icon Curves on the Workflow toolbar. The Curves window is subdivided into four parts. The toolbar at the top, then below at the left the object area that contains the list of components drawn in the single line diagram. At the right the diagram area in which is possible to visualize the characteristics of the objects and at the bottom the relation area shows the list of discrimination and protection relations. To show the characteristic of one object it is only necessary to enable the checkbox relative to the desired object. In the area at the right will be possible to see the tripping characteristics for the three phase folds, two phase folds, single phase folds and specific lateral energy. It is possible to show more than one curve on the same diagram. So, for example, it's possible to check protection of cables, visualizing also the references for maximum and minimum short circuit current. Or it's possible to study the time current selectivity between breakers. It is also easy to check the protection of cables using the relations area. There are listed all the relations between upstream device and downstream protected object. The first column contains the list of protection devices. The second column shows the list of protected cables and the last column the verifications starting from short circuit protection indicated with letters SC, overload protection indicated with OL and indirect touch indicated with letters NDT. Enabling the checkbox of relations and the desired relation is possible to visualize the graphic of curves of protection device and the cable to which refers the verification. When the protection device protects the downstream cable, the relation is written in black color and in the status column is indicated OK. Otherwise, the relation assumes red color and the status is failed. In this case, it is necessary to set the trip unit of the protection device until the status OK appears. Double clicking on a description or a curve of a protection device is possible to open the control panel that shows the protection settings. In case of device with adjustable release, DOC sets automatically the overload protection. The setting of short circuit protection has to be done manually, modifying the values in the pop up mask. Alternatively, it's possible to drag the curves in the diagram. In order to drag the curve of a protection release, move the mouse pointer on the edge of a curve until it's shown a double arrow. At this point, it is possible to click on the left button of the mouse and move the curve, keeping press the mouse. Double clicking on a cable allows the opening of the control panel in which are shown the main data. Once the devices are set, it is possible to print the study or to export diagrams and data. To export the diagram, first close the curve module window, select the page of the single line diagram in which you want to add the diagram or create a new page. Then 
open the curves module and display the desired diagram. At this point, select in the toolbar at the top the command copy diagram. Then select the command draw. Doc automatically closes the curve module and opens the single line diagram. Give an initial click to determine the corner at the top on the left of the diagram. Give a second click to determine the second corner of the diagram. After the second click, Doc comes back automatically to Curves module. The same procedure can be used to export values or diagram to a Word file or to an Excel file. In this lesson you learned how to check the protection of cables. Thank you for the attention.